welcome to Tranquility Du Jour TV. Tonight I want to take you on a trip through my beloved bookshelves. I'm going to show you some of my absolute favorites, some must have gems and many, I must confess, that I have not yet read. But um, I'm hoping to learn through osmosis, so that's why I continue to collect books. All right, and then Louie the Pug is here just to help us out. All right, so there's Louie. All right, so I have them categorized somewhat. There's a lot of business. There's a lot from my feminist theory days in grad school of women's studies. One interesting book that I just read, The Towering World of Jimmy Choo. I don't really know much about the Jimmy Choo shoe, but this was a pretty interesting read for anyone who's interested in kind of Lux branding. However, this book is way more fun. This one, these two actually, we've got Women to Women from today's most celebrated women. And the lovely founder of, or co-founder of Jiva Mukti Yoga is in here, Sharon Gannon, Longer Drew Barrymore, all sorts of really phenomenal women. This is a great book. It came out probably 10 years ago. And then one of my other favorites is called Something More. Now this wasn't her huge bestseller. Her huge bestseller, Sarah Van Bronick, that's how you pronounce her last name. She actually wrote Something More, the beautiful pink book that was rejected by 30 publishers before picked up and became an international success. But anyway, I love this book, Something More, because it really encourages you to continue to dig deeper. Then, of course, I have my collection of Sark, an absolute gem. Make Your Creative Dreams Real is a must-have for everyone's shelf. Louis playing with his bone in the background, so sorry for the noise. This is a really neat book, Ambitious. It was actually retitled because I think the word bitch was not helping it sell. I actually picked it up because I loved that idea. Let's reclaim ambition as a virtue. I actually interviewed her on the podcast, so you may remember hearing from Deborah. This is a book I haven't yet read, but I think everyone should read. I've had it for quite a few years. Pour your heart into it. All about Starbucks coffee. Same thing with this, Women Who Run With the Wolves. A total classic for feminists. I think every woman should have this, but yet again, I've started it multiple times and have not yet finished it. Look at the size of this book. This is a book that I actually just picked up or was given last week whenever I went to hear her speak. And what a phenomenal woman. She's named one of the most 50 or the 50 most powerful women in the world. That's impressive. Super Corp. And it's a really cool book about social good in business. Another neat book that I adore and that I found to be really, really fun over the years is Anything by Alexandra Stoddard. She's an interior decorator slash self-help guru, like all sorts of beauty rolled into one. Living a Beautiful Life is probably my favorite by her. And then, of course, we have some beautiful picture books, such as, look at this gorgeous book, The Spirit of Yoga. Gorgeous images. I mean, this was something I picked up 10 years ago when I first started doing more yoga, and I just am in awe at the beauty, the photography in this book. And it takes you through a lot of basic poses. And of course there's this one that was given to me from a former teacher at the studio. Legends, women who have changed the world through the eyes of great women writers. Frida Kahlo, Elizabeth Taylor, Jane Goodall, all sorts of amazing, amazing women. So here's just a glance on this side. Now I'm going to take you over to the mirror image of this, so the left side of my fireplace. So here are some more fun books. How to Be Lovely, The Audrey Hepburn Way of Life. All sorts of really great books. These are some of my regular inspiration. Alexandra Stoddard again, The Black Book of Style, Paris Chic and Trendy, of course. And then a lovely photo of Beau and Moi in Muir Woods. 
So here is the mirror image of the other side I just walked you through. I'm obsessed with Anais Nen. Obsessed. And so here are all, I have every single one of her published journals, including her love letters between Henry Miller and herself, a literate passion. I've read maybe a quarter of them. Then a lot of other amazing women, such as Anne Sex, Sexton, Isaac Dennison, Simone de Beauvoir, Virginia Woolf, of course, Ayn Rand. I was reading her biography on the beach in Ibiza and wondered why no one was hitting on me. And so here we get into a lot more just eclectic books. We've got The Red Book by Sarah Beek, who I interviewed on the podcast, a creative entrepreneur, all sorts of really, really fun texts. A lot of these, I must confess, I have read, but it's probably 25 to 50%. Get up here with cookbooks, mm, not much goes on with the cookbooks, but the intention was there, so A for effort. Awake at Work, The Mindful Leader, a lot on leadership and doing it in a socially conscious way. And running businesses as a female. Run your business like a girl. True to yourself. Values-driven business. Of course, The Alchemist. Girl Seeks Bliss. This is all about Buddhism for the modern girl. So here's my Paris collection, besides what's on the mantle. So we have all sorts of really fun books. A few that have been gifts. C'est la vie. An American woman begins a new life in Paris. And voila, becomes almost French. Haven't read it yet. Just got it. Paris Chic and Trendy, this was another gift that was sent to me by a lovely reader out on the West Coast. Designer Studios, Hip Boutiques, and Vintage Stores. And again, throughout here, French at a glance in case I ever uh, get somewhat proficient with pronunciation. Entree Vu, this is, uh, or Entree Nu, this is an amazing book. Woman's Guide to Finding Her Inner French Girl. A Writer's Paris, this is a really fun read. All You Need to Be Impossibly French. French Women Don't Sleep Alone, Paris in Mind, all sorts of really neat Paris-focused books that I've picked up along the way that I've read probably about half of these. And some of these will just be great resources for Paris in November. Voila! Thank you for joining me on a tour of my literary world. I have another stack by my bedside, but we're running a little low on time and... There's a lot more books to be had. I keep about 50 by my bedside that I'm currently reading in addition to all of these. So thank you for joining me. I hope you found some fun new titles to help inspire you along the way. And thanks for watching Tranquility Du Jour TV. Namaste. Namaste.